Since the beginning of the sport, Great Britain had always managed to produce quality athletes. We are talking about the likes of Harry Edwards and Harold Abraham in the 1920s, Dorothy Manley in the 1940s, to now Dina Asher-Smith and Daryl Nada, as well as Jarnell Hughes for males. Nada and Asher Smith have been on the front line battling for the Great Britain well over the last few years in the 100 and 200 meters. But since Christine Ohurug's last world title in the 400 meters in 2013, there has yet to be a resurgence in Great Britain's best event since the earlier Olympic years. While you might not have heard how good Britain's history is in the 400 meters is, keep in mind they are the only country to medal in both the first ever male 400 at the Olympics in 1896 and the first ever female 400 race at the 1968 Olympics, not even the mighty United States could pull off such a feat. So fans of Great Britain would be glad to know that over in Arkansas, 23-year-old Amber Anning is dropping the marker to rekindle one of the country's most prestigious event. This past weekend, she put on two of the best performances in the space of 24 hours. On Friday, she lined up in the women's 200 meters. Running in the 12th section, she dominated the four-woman field, dropping a 22.60 seconds to win, a time that would stand as the second fastest of the meet. But more significantly, that run made her British indoor 200-meter national record holder, surpassing a record that had been on the books since 1999. She proved her speed on Friday night, and in less than 24 hours, she proved her strength, demolishing her competition in the 400 to drop a super fast 50.56 seconds at Fayetteville. With that, she became the fastest woman in the world over 400 meters and moved even closer to the national record. To add, that is her third personal best for that season and she has only run one of each race this year a 200, 400, and an 800, all which she had progressed in. The scary thing about it is that she is almost guaranteed to go faster, seeing that historically she drops her personal best at some form of main competition and against strong opposition. So if this remains true, she could grab the 400 meter national record, taking another step in the nation's history books. So it seems we are on the verge of witnessing another special talent this season this time it is not a Jamaican nor an American, but a Brit with incredibly top-class potential. The Razorbacks over Elia Butler for Georgia. Arkansas, Georgia, A&M, and USC. Amber Anning into the home stretch. Amber Anning, Elia Butler, and it's Amber Anning powering through at 50.5.